what is up everyone it has been about a month since I posted a video I went back to work and man did I here's my clock out from last night so I've had a month of weeks like that so far and this is the first day I've had off in a while so I figured I'd come out to the cabin because I haven't been out here in months since the last video I filmed here and despite everything being quite overgrown and a little dusty pretty much everything's exactly the way I left it which is which is cool I didn't really expect anything crazy but I was hoping there wouldn't be any trees laying on a cabin or anything dramatic like that but man it was beautiful we actually didn't get out here until about 1 a.m. and I have this weird obsession with driving someplace at night and then waking up in a new environment and that's exactly what happened it was so peaceful so beautiful I got up just in time for a rainstorm to roll through and that put me right back to bed and uh, just it's nice to be out here so anybody new to the channel I'll leave a link up here when the quarantine first happened I stayed out here for 40 days straight and you guys can watch those videos and kind of see how this place transformed and uh, how we made it a, a livable, a happy little home. But now that I haven't been here in a few months, it's quite overgrown. So I'm gonna take you guys out and show you what outside looks like and how the pond looks and the gardens, if you can see them. But first, first, I just wanna say thank you to all of you guys because in this month hiatus we just had, uh, we actually hit a thousand subscribers. And that has been a huge, huge goal of mine. It's like to hit that milestone. Ugh, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. I, I appreciate you watching and I'm, I'm happy to share everything I'm doing with you guys. I just, I just love this whole process. I'm actually, after this next week, I'm gonna be cutting my hours back at work and I'm gonna put more focus into my filmmaking, be it YouTube and my professional stuff. I'm just investing a lot of time and money to uh, really kick that career in the ass and get going with it. But anybody new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. All of you guys watching now, please hit that like button. Let's go show you around. So as soon as you walk out the door, you are greeted by a bunch of tall grass and weeds. Yeah, so this is it. It's uh, it's quite the jungle. So we drove down the trail up here. Check this out. There's the truck. I will say it was quite sketchy driving down this hill with all these tall weeds over my hood in complete darkness. It's a little nerve wracking, but we did it. And uh, today we're gonna do the hill climb buck back out of here and uh, hope we make it up. But yeah, I mean, this is, look how overgrown this is. It's insane. It seriously turns into a rainforest out here. So this garden over here, there's a, yeah, pretty much everything's just engulfed by weeds. Hopefully though, some of the arugula and uh, perennials got the flower and seed, and maybe they'll pop up next year. I did clean up the strawberry patch just a little bit. They're doing okay, they're spreading around, but I pulled some of those weeds to get light back on them. And then, let's go over here. Show us the way, Byron. So this area over here, I cut really low before I left, and it's actually not looking too bad. In the pond. The pond. This is one thing I didn't expect to find when I came here. So I dug this pond. I actually don't know how much of that process I actually filmed, but my last time out here, I stopped at a little pond store and just like threw some pond plants in here. and. Uh, Man, this pond is like filled with life. Look at this. It 
it's amazing like the lilies grew there's actually one big bud that looks like it's about to flower and like there's tadpoles and bugs and this is all the stuff i wanted to happen so maybe next spring i can put minnow, minnows in here let them get situated and start reproducing and then i want to put a few bluegill in here and just see what happens but the aerator is still working which means to tell me my little six volt solar system is doing great the garden down over here let's see if we can even get to it yeah so the garden's pretty much a complete loss <laughs> but what do you expect for not being out here for months i know the the deer and the rabbits are definitely feeding away on it so at least it's not going to waste but the big thing was when this pandemic happened i wasn't sure how long i was going to be staying out here so it's better safe than sorry that i got something in but the good thing moving forward now is the the raised beds are in in the fall i'll come cut all this stuff down and uh bag it up and we'll replant again if we need to but yeah i mean stuff stuff some we got a few tomatoes or some corn back there the potatoes look all right over in the corner we'll probably dig that up in the fall and see if there's any potatoes down in the dirt but hey it grew it grew <laughs> the biggie boy likes the garden yeah let's go so our rain barrel is full the shower looks intact i know as far as all of our solar on the roof batteries are fully charged everything was great there's i walked in the door and turned the lights on so the electricity and the water should be all good this i'm wondering though since it's battery operated I'm wondering if uh, this will fire up. So let's uh, check that out. Water on, propane on. And there it is. I just had to prime the pump a little bit. We still have hot water. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Kind of want to get a shower. Felt really nice. Ugh. So, after 40 days of living here full time, I can leave for months and come back and not a single thing has changed. That's awesome. That makes me feel like I built this place well and it is uh, kind of time proofed. And I have no doubt that I could be gone for a year and come back and this place would still be livable. Probably with just a little bit of a little bit of maintenance. I didn't really expect anything bad to happen, but you never know. This place is really secluded, so who knows? But that is all for today. I have to uh, get back to the city. Cause like I said, it's my first day off in quite a while, so I gotta run some errands, I gotta do some shopping. Gotta do that kind of adult stuff, unfortunately. But thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, it, I feel really humbled to get to this thousand subscriber point and also to like scroll through comments and people like asking where I am like legitimately concerned about me. Um, I read that comment the other day and man it just kind of like, it felt good. It felt good to know that you guys are keeping an eye out for my content. And speaking of content, I have a lot of plans moving forward. and with these extra hours and extra days off from work, I'm gonna start pumping it out again. So, 
stay tuned guys much love thanks for being here I couldn't ask I couldn't ask for more I love you we'll see you next time Huggy Bear peace